Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Freely. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Canon 50 to transfer files directly to your computer um, over Wi-Fi. Um, so it's a really cool feature and I made a video a while back showing you how to transfer files directly to your phone. So this is kind of like a follow-up to that. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing to get this process started is you actually have to go to the Canon official website and I'll have it linked down in the description below so you can copy and paste it into your browser. So basically you're gonna have this open, you're gonna scroll down and go down to software and you have to choose your operating system so it's already detected mine. Um, but basically you're gonna look for one called image transfer utility and you just wanna grab the latest version um, as of the recording this video, if you're using Mac, um, that's the latest version. So you're just gonna hit download and once you have that file download, you're just going to to open it up right here. You're gonna unzip it and you're just gonna open up that DMG file that we have right there. Here we have the installation. Um, so we're gonna just double click on this installer right here. Now this is gonna be different if you're having, a, if you have a Windows, um, you know, it's generally the same, same process, but on Windows. So you're just gonna click your country. Um, yep, I'm in the US. All right, I'm just gonna hit okay license agreement and then it's gonna start downloading everything and installing everything so just gotta wait for that to finish and it's finished that's a fresh install we're just gonna hit next and then finish and then from here you can pretty much delete these all right so we're gonna actually open up the image transfer utility and here it is right now um, the image transfer utility is a pretty simple app um, first off you're gonna have to um, set up the pairing um, so it's going to have this um, window pop up and this is going to be the name of your computer. So once you have this all set up, you're going to go down to your um, Canon M50. So let's switch over to the Canon M50 right now. Hey guys, I forgot to mention something in the video, but make sure you take note of which Wi-Fi that your computer is connected to. And when you go into the next step, the M50 is gonna have to be connected to that same Wi-Fi. So for example, if your computer is connected to network one, make sure that your M50 is also connected to network one. So I totally forgot to mention that, uh, but yeah, let's get back into the video. All right, so we're here on the Canon M50. So what we're gonna do is hit that menu button and you'll be shifted into this menu. We're gonna go to the wrench, go to the wireless communication settings. We're gonna go in there and then from here, click on the Wi-Fi settings. And then from here, you're gonna go down to auto send images to computer. We're gonna hit enable and it's gonna bring up this message and pairing camera with computer, make sure the computer is running and the Canon app software is on. So since we already have that part ready, we're just going to hit okay. It's gonna be searching. So from here, you're going to choose your Wi-Fi. So what you're gonna do is scroll down through this list of Wi-Fi networks and choose your Wi-Fi network and connect your Canon M50 to it. So after you put in your password for your Wi-Fi, you're just gonna hit okay. And it's gonna say busy. And you're just gonna hit auto. Um, don't really wanna mess with that. And there you go. And my laptop is now visible because it's connected to the same exact Wi-Fi as my Canon M50. So you're just gonna click that. And from here, we're gonna go back to our computer. All right, so now we're back to my computer and you're gonna see that in this menu, you're gonna see your Canon M50 with a, just a bunch of numbers. Um, yeah, it's gonna be highlighted. You're just gonna hit pair. So it's gonna pair and it's gonna say pairing complete, which is what we want to see. And on your M50, it should bring you back to this auto send images menu. And from here on your laptop, you're gonna hit close and then you're gonna click on this little like circle thingy. It looks like a sunflower, honestly. And you're gonna set a image saving location. So from here, you're gonna choose your destination folder where basically where you want all your images and videos to be um, transferred to. In this case, I'm gonna hit that and I'm gonna go to desktop and I created a folder named pictures. And you also have like this subfolder thing. So based on how you guys want it, you guys can customize it to however you want. We're just gonna hit okay. So the way this thing actually works is to start the transfer, turn the camera off and then on again. And we're gonna go back to our camera and I'm just gonna take a couple pictures and maybe a, maybe a video or two. So here we go, I'm just gonna and Currently, my, my camera is set to shoot in RAW plus JPEG, and this um, transfer method will take both the RAW and JPEG files. And in addition to that, it will also take video too. So I'm just gonna take 
a really short one so that the um, transfer speed isn't too long. So there we go, let's make it three seconds. And to officially start the transfer, what you're going to do is turn off your M50 and turn it back on. And if you go back to your computer in a little bit, it's gonna say it's gonna start transferring. So just give it a couple seconds. There you go, and it says receiving images from camera. So um, I'm just gonna keep this rolling. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys how long it actually takes for the files to get there. If you look at the M50 and you see this little blinking light, that means it's still transferring. Or you can refer to your laptop and still see that it says it's receiving images from camera. You also wanna keep in mind to keep your camera on and don't really touch anything on your camera. And the same thing on the um, image transfer utility on the um, computer, uh, trying to touch anything. So it avoids like making um, errors and whatnot. All right, so it officially finished transferring and that took roughly around a minute and a half to get it all um, uploaded. So it's not that long. So if, especially if you're just not doing anything and you're just kind of like chilling, um, getting these um, images straight to your computer um, on your downtime. It does a pretty decent job. If you go to that destination folder where you created that you directed it to save your photos, um, you just open it up and then all your photos will be there. So it's really, really cool. And it's a really, really cool feature that I've, I have I only found out like recently. So yeah, uh, definitely try this out when you get the chance. So hopefully this video helped you. If you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. But if you guys want more videos about the Canon 50 or if you wanna watch the video where you can transfer the files directly to your phone, check the card um, on either side. I keep forgetting which side it's on. Definitely check it out if you guys want more info and I have a whole bunch of videos about the Canon 50 on this channel so be sure to check them out but with all that said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one